What if just 30 seconds a day could make you live an extra decade and simultaneously have no disease for those extra years? What if the secret that allows people of Okinawa in Japan to regularly live to over 100 years old whilst being in great health was now available to people all around the world, including you? This isn't bullshit. this is real. And coming up is an interview also with John Gillen, who first brought this stuff to Europe and has vastly more experience using it to revive people at rock bottom health than even well-known longevity scientist, David Sinclair. This is of course, NAD+. I know there's supplements for it, but I don't use them anymore. I know there's also IV drips for it, but I would never have those on myself because it can actually be very dangerous. And if anyone's an expert on that, trust me, it's John Gillen because he was the first in Europe to do them. To understand how this works, how it can be dangerous, what benefits you can get from it, and even how to use it on yourself safely, stay tuned. What's NAD? Well, every cell in our body is doing a certain number of functions simultaneously all the time. The fuel for this is like um, electricity in a battery fueling a circuit. If that battery then has low energy, then the bulb it's powering is gonna be very dim and we have a poorly performing bulb. Now, think of, uh, say, cell function as a bulb and being powered by mitochondria, which are the battery packs of our cells. Inside this battery, the charge is known as ATP instead of electricity, and it's what's made in mitochondria. Now, imagine our cells have a suboptimal amount of ATP or energy available. Imagine the reduction this is going to show in the cell function and how dim our bulbs are going to grow. If you place this analogy in the skin, it translates to, uh, say, wrinkles and sagging instead of smooth, tight skin. In the pancreas, it might translate to a reduced ability to utilize insulin in the body. In the liver, it can translate to a poor detox ability for us, etc., etc. You see, I know <laughs> you might think aging is about wrinkles and diabetes, but honestly, these can be thought of as symptoms. If we think of aging as losing cell function, then we can see how wrinkles and diabetes are more symptoms of this reduced cell function rather than aging in and of themselves. But how do we uh, lose cell function? Well, if you understand that, you understand why NAD is so powerful. We have less and less NAD available to us over time, and this translates to changes of aging, like, like I said, disease and wrinkles. There are things that I'm sure you know of already, which are seen as very anti-aging, like uh, exercise, saunas, uh, cryotherapy, intermittent fasting, uh, and much more. These do work because they have a final effect on the quality of DNA and the ability to repair DNA damage using things like sirtuin enzymes. And if the cell's instruction manual for its jobs, i.e. the DNA, is perfect, then it can do the jobs perfectly. But here's the thing, even these enzymes can actually be dependent on NAD+. So now you're starting to understand how this tiny molecule is seemingly crucial to slow down the aging process from the inside out. If you make each cell's energy production process optimal, then each cell function is done optimally, and cells make up tissues, which make up organs, which make up an organism like a human being. What can deplete the body's level of NAD and rapidly ages? Amongst other things, alcohol is very good at this, and <laughs> John Gillen was among the first in the world to use NAD+, and it was specifically for alcohol detox programs of patients whose livers were severely malfunctioning. Here's what he saw when he did this, and remember, normally, these liver issues, when treated the traditional way, could take several months at least in some cases. I came back to the UK and very quickly uh, went back to San Diego to meet Dr. Cass, and she, she took me across the border to this clinic in Tijuana. Uh, at that time, it was a well-known, uh, renowned clinic called the William Hitt Clinic. Uh, and I had the opportunity to experience five alcoholic people receive this IV protocol. Uh, and to my eyes, it was just like, you know, totally remarkable to anything that I'd seen. The, these people, uh, after two or three to five days, showed e extraordinary improvement, uh, not just physically, but mentally, uh, and even in their physical appearance. Uh, and they were no longer off all drugs, all alcohol. It was just remarkable. No cravings, uh, complete mental clarity. Uh, 
So that 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 struck me, and that moment, I decided that, that this is something that I must do, not pursue, but do. So very quickly on return to London, I reorganised myself, and I opened up uh, Europe's first NED uh, IV clinic called uh, Pionad in Marylebone in London. Literally in a handful of days, liver toxicity was being reversed. Think about how long a rehab clinic or even alcohol, alcoholic, Alcoholics Anonymous takes to get people perfectly physically in good condition and, and mentally clear as well. In fact, even the guy that started Alcoholics Anonymous decided that vitamin B3 therapy was the way forward to treat alcoholism rather than meeting sat around in a circle in a room. What you'll be thinking now when you have just seen that though and listen very carefully is that to slow down the aging process, you need to go and get a drip of uh, NAD, an IV drip of NAD. I guarantee you that isn't the case and it can actually be very dangerous. Here's why. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're using NAD or interested in NAD, I mean, those <clears throat> actually matters. Those matters, just the same as any other uh, medication, so we say. Uh, in that alcoholic uh, patient group, these people are extremely uh, to the point of absolutely can be fatal deficiency in NAD. Uh, a bit like a subclinical pellagra condition. So these people needed uh, more uh, enforced methods of raising NAD. Uh, and that's why we used the IV protocol then. Now, through these years, many, many years, and many, many uh, people, uh, I have, through my own clinical observations, uh, noticed, uh, and, and it's never the case, the more NAD, the better for, for people interested in just general wellness, anti-aging, or even uh, stamina. So the, the, the IV protocol still stands today. I would still very happily use an IV protocol of NAD in a particular client group only. And especially the doses that we use for that alcoholic addict uh, is completely different uh, to what we'd ever, ever do on an IV protocol for anybody else with any other condition even. Well, so it's, I think what strikes me is that people in the public nowadays simply have the non-qualified thought that more of something must be better. But what you're saying is through evidence, experience, and even nowadays things you can see with your own eyes in NAD, that, that can be borderline dangerous if you just go absurd and, and do as much as possible, right? It can. Yeah, it can. It, it can. I mean, what's happened is, you know, people have just followed the protocols that were in place for that uh, client group, the alcoholics, they just copied the protocols and using that dose for somebody who's not as extremely deficient as that, it, it causes a whole host of metabolic issues. I mean, rather than uh, helping people, you can cause absolutely cr pure uh, chronic fatigue uh, in people after two or three days at their doses. So, uh, you know, people have jumped on the bandwagon without any inquiry or without any sort of training uh, or education into the use of, of NED. I mean, I'd love NED to be more popular in the world than it is, but through an IV use, uh, you have to be very, very careful. Absolutely careful. So the alternative is to get the NAD plus into you through a different method and at a safer dose. This is why John and his team of top researchers have brought out their home use product, which is pure NAD plus that's injected directly into the subcutaneous tissues, i.e. into the fat that you can pinch with your fingers at the side of your abdomen. Injecting here gives a longer term release into your system and smaller doses more frequently gives a much more natural level and processable release schedule of NAD plus in your body. One vial is a thousand milligrams of NAD plus and that's the equivalent of two full IV drips in one vial. To give you an idea of how powerful that is, an alcoholic would be halfway through their detox uh, for their battered liver with something like two IV drips. Hopefully, now you can understand why it can be dangerous to think that more is better. If you inject 0.25 milliliters or 0.25 cc's, that's a 50 milligram shot of NAD plus you're giving yourself. The recommended protocol for this is three days in a row to start and then every other day after that. Now, 
You know, some of my patients who are professional athletes or professional footballers or soccer players or wherever you're watching this, they do actually use it every day because they have a much more active lifestyle. And there's no major risk with that as long as you're relatively sensible in your lifestyle and you know, you're not having copious amounts of alcohol all the time. The big question though is, what kind of effects and benefits do you get from taking it? NED definitely does increase in stamina and, and it does it fairly quickly. I mean, I've noticed that on, on, on myself. Uh, and the reason I noticed it was one day, every Friday, I would buy groceries and I lived in four, five flights of stairs uh, and carrying the groceries up to the top. When I got to the top of the door, I was busted. Then. One day I had some uh, NED treatment and that Friday I'd done the same thing like every Friday and I got to the top of the stairs and you know what, I could have done it three or four times. Wow. And then it was a, 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 a blue light moment. I just went, wow, I mean, there's, there's a connection here. If you ever want to see NED work uh, at its best, uh, you have to look and, and look at how it helps a chronic alcoholic because if they're looking at any condition that causes acceleration of aging and other processes, it's in that individual. And what I've seen was a reversal of that process in that person. So somebody would look like 15, 20 years younger after five days of having this protocol of NED. Now, the, 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 the conditions that that client group uh, complain about most is uh, brain fog, anxiety, uh, bad skin, uh, total agitation. Now, all these symptoms uh, are relieved by NED. Now, these same symptoms are occurring in the general public who is not uh, troubled by uh, alcohol uh, in various forms with the lifestyle that people have today, the busy, busy lifestyle. So when David Sinclair refers to process using NED in mammals in 2013, it was no great news to me. I had already seen that in hundreds and hundreds of human beings. Mm. So these days, most of our clients, and obviously there's a lot more people giving us feedback because the subcutaneous uh, protocol is, eat, you know, much more people are using it. So we're getting more feedback. And people are, 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 are reporting all oh, minors the benefits you know the good thing about NED is what, what I've learned about it that a good 90% of people respond to it in one way or another now whether it's that it's increased energy a uh, little bit more mental clarity stamina or some people notice their hair grows a bit faster their nails grow faster their complexions are a little bit better you know NED just really makes everything work a little bit better, really, at the end of the day. Yeah, I mean, I think you touched on something really important there. When you, when you listed all the different things that it helps, um, things like stamina, things like skin, hair, nails, you know, these are all very different things. But I try and explain to my patients that when they ask me, you know, what is it good for? There's nothing it can't be good for, because at the end of the day, when you're talking about energy production in cells, you're talking about citric acid cycles, Krebs cycles, mitochondria, etc. Every cell requires that to do every single one of its functions. So if you're hitting that root cause, it stands to reason everything would, would start to work better. Am, am I right in thinking that? Oh, you're 100% right. And this is why it's such a, you know, it's such a baffling, mysterious molecule and the way people report. I mean, in my early days, people were coming and, the, 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 you know, saying how the eyesight has improved to such a degree that their professional opticians and everyone just cannot believe it. You know, it, it, it's just, I don't have any answers for this. But of course, without any D, you, you just don't have life. So yeah. it's involved in so many, over 500 different processes. Now to try to figure out how, how this all works, and we're obviously dealing with energy here. To try to equate to what energy is doing, it, it's, it's really, it, that's getting into a completely different realm. So, I mean, that, 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 through the years, I've had so many people, uh, including two Olympic uh, uh, former athletes who came to me some years ago. Now, although there's no scientific evidence that we gathered at that time, uh, it definitely increases stamina. And I think 
So any endurance sport, uh, you, you would benefit from from any day, even like tennis or, or running or, or even just general workouts. You just go that extra mile more without suffering, if you understand, you know? To add to what John said, even in my own personal experience, I had a, a bad knee injury not that long ago. And when I started using it, it was uh, healing very, very slowly. But within a day, I noticed the speed of healing was much, much more rapid. I've even noticed my skin is better. Not that it was bad to start with, I'll admit. And my energy at the end of a day is much higher too. Now for someone like me that's never had tea, never had coffee, never had alcohol, never had drugs, never had tobacco, uh, always stayed active with sports as well as being at a normal weight, my NAD plus levels and aging level isn't gonna be that bad anyway. But even with that, I still notice an improvement to my health. If you're someone that drinks a lot, never exercises, smokes every day and eats a terrible diet, frankly, this isn't for you. Like, Even if this makes you go three steps forward, your lifestyle is making you go 20 steps backward. So always be sensible in your expectations. Why do I think John's company is the best at making this product for all of you? Well, lots of companies are gonna tell you that they're the best at making it and what you need to do is figure out whose expertise to trust. A long time ago, there were only a few clinics in the world qualified to use this molecule. Then there was the world's first ever NAD Plus Summit, where the few experts that there were came together to discuss their findings. This is where John met two scientists called Ross Grant and Lady Brady. So this company has the absolute forefront of NAD researchers behind it. For me, that's really important and it should be for you too. This is why I would only recommend using this particular brand and I do so myself every single day. How do you use it? Well, it's very simple. The kit comes with everything you need like uh, cleaning swabs, syringes, sharp spin to throw your syringes away and obviously the actual NAD plus vial itself which I'd recommend storing in the fridge. Then when you're using it, bring it out and warm it up to room temperature before you inject because a cold liquid can sting a bit before you inject. After you've done that, clean the vial's lid to sterilize it, draw up 0.25 cc's up to number 25 in the syringe, clean the injection site on the side of your abdomen, pinch the fat between your fingers and aim the needle in between those same fingers. Inject the full 0.25 mil for a 50 milligram dose of NAD+, and then throw the syringe away into the provided sharp spin. 